Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Now for today's video I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, something that I haven't done yet on my videos or even spoken about. But I'm going to dive in and do some special effects makeup. Now I'm not at all trained in the special effects makeup area but it has been something that is um of interest for me over the last couple of years or so that i have kind of self-taught myself how to do a few things mainly just like scratches on the back of your hands and your face um playing around with like liquid latex and scar wax and things like that um i have a box dedicated to special effects makeup so it's all really like your really cheap two dollar palettes from Kmart and like reject shop and stuff like that um I have them now before I get started please know once again I am self-taught things that I'm using are basic if I'm using them wrong please don't come at me like I'm just going for what I think works so please sit back relax and enjoy now for today's video we are going to be using scar wax now I have just a little one here from the BYS FX brand which I picked up from Spotlight. Um, I find that scar wax can be quite expensive um, if you're just playing around for everyday makeup but you can make it and it seems quite easy to make. All it is is Vaseline, flour and you kind of just mix it all together and then you can chuck in your foundation as well to if you want to match your colour. I've got foundation in Vaseline at the moment. This is just a Coles brand petroleum jelly. Got some foundation in there. Just need to add a little bit more flour and then mix it all up and then you can use it for scar wax. Um, you can also, for special effects, use liquid latex. Um, pretty much it. I can show you in another video later on of how it works, but pretty much it just hardens like that you use it with um, some tissues um, it's kind of like a like a glue so so it gives it different sort of um, skin textures and things like that I'm going to be using scar wax I'm going to do a little demonstration on how to use it and um, pretty much we're just going to do a bit of a cut on the back of our hand. Just All right, to start off, we're just going to use the back of our hands like this. Um, they recommend that you have clean hands. So I have already washed my hands and made sure that they're dry. And we're going to go in with our scar wax. This here is the BYS special effects scar wax. And then when molding, we use moisturizer to stop. So I'm going to grab my moisturizer, which I'm just using the Nivea Soft moisturizer which is just there so I'm just going to grab it on the back of a spatula and we're going to grab a decent amount I'm going to grab that much and we're just going to put it on the back of my hand like so We're going to have a bit of a scratch in the back of the hand and we're just going to mould it to what we want. some sort of sort of scar happening on the top of our hand. I'm just gonna go back in with the spatula 
and create some sort of line. Alright, so we've got a bit of a bit of a scratch happening here. There we go. So scratch like so. I'm just gonna clean this off. Now I'm just gonna grab what is these called? An earbud. And grab some translucent powder. And some powder and we're just going to put that on like so Alrighty. so that gives it kind of a matted out effect so next we're going to go in and you put some color into it so for this I'm going to use just a, an eyeshadow and blush kit it is an OXX one and I'm going to go in with this red here. get another clean cotton bud put some red on it and we're gonna go in between where this cut is have put some red around the sides as well. Further away from your hand. Also going in and we're going to use some of the black as well to give it more of that effect. So now I'm going to go in with the other palette again and we're going to keep adding some of the blues and some of the purples in here to create that bruising sort of look to the hand. Alright, so there we go. We got some weird bruised sort of infected hand going on here. So next we're going to add one of the most important things with every cut and scratch that happens always happen, comes out with blood. So we're going to add some fake blood. Now this bottle I picked up really really cheap from Red Dot like a couple of Halloweens ago and it's still lasting me. I find that it's very liquidy though. And we'll just add some blood to the hand. That's just a quick rundown on how to use scar wax. So there is our final look. Looks like a, a scratch on the top of our hand with some weird infected bruising around the side. And that was just using a little bit of scar wax. You can use the liquid latex, which I can show you in another video. You can use make your own scar wax. Just Pretty much I like to experiment with some of the special effects makeup that is available. The blood I would like to have a little bit more thicker, which I think I might try and work out how to make a little bit more thicker. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that video, this video. If you did, please let me know what your thoughts are um 
yeah, I will see you all next time with another video. And I might do some, I might do one with liquid latex for next week. So you can have both of them. See how both of them work. Alright, thank you so much and we'll see you, I will see you next week.